after about 20, 30 turns, boom, it starts locking up again. And then you're going to end up breaking something. So what we're going to do... Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you all for being part of it. Today, we're going to go ahead and show you how to properly disassemble the regulator itself from the door, window regulator. A lot of people spray PB Blast in there, and doing that, it's such a temporary fix. I'm going to show you how to make it probably better than what it came out of the factory, to be honest with you. We're going to get all the crud out of there and do it the proper way. Somebody asked about it uh, in a video recently. I did one a while ago, but I don't think people caught it, many folks. So we'll redo it today. Big announcement. I'll bring it up shortly in the video for Friday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. I think a lot of people are going to want to catch that. So let's get started. Okay, I'll bring you up close in one second here. I'm going to run two cameras so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This will change your whole life, I'm telling you. When you sit there and just spray in the track and go, well, you know, it's better now, it is very temporarily, but when we pull this apart and it's easy to do and we do it the right way, you're going to roll your window up and down and go, wow, it'll be like silk. You watch and see. Something I want to announce, Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to have a live chat instead of Sunday. Uh, so tune in if you can. I'm going to do a giveaway on like three or four prizes, maybe five. Uh, nothing real big, but stuff to show appreciation. So uh, I don't want to announce it now because I don't have the stuff up here. But obviously I'm in a garage. So if you can, it's in the community tab here so you don't forget. And Heather and I will do a drawing live. And of course our normal chat time. We have a lot of fun Sunday nights. So we might move it to Friday depending on how the turnout is. We'll do it that way because everybody's gotten used to Sunday nights. So let's see how it goes. Let's get started on this. Now we're going to take our regulator out. Okay, hopefully you're not hearing background noise. I got my background noise cancellation on, but they're working on our road. So... First, I'm just going to, whoops, forgot I had the screw in there. Now, obviously, this moves the tracking when you wind up and down. So you see what I'm talking about. Let me put the handle on there, and there is your tracking. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to have to run back and forth a lot on this film. So I can zoom you in. What we are going to do is unbend these tabs because what we want to do is get the snake out of here. And you'll see how nasty it is once I get it out of here. So let's do that first. Now, just so you see where we are right down in here, and then I'm going to zoom in on it. We are going to unbend these tabs. Okay, now don't go crazy and break them. It's hard not to get in front of you. But you'll see what I mean. I'll show you in one second. Okay. So you see what I did there. You don't go bend the knees too far and break them. Now that we have the tabs unbent, I have, you can screw the handle on and keep it on if you'd like to. Don't be an idiot like me. I keep trying to hold it on. You're going to wind it. You're going to see it coming down. Okay. Now see how the handle is spinning. When you're spinning and nothing is happening, it's out of what I refer to as the regulator. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you up close because we are at the edge where it came out of the part where we had it crimped closed. That's crimped from the factory. So let me back the camera up a hair. Now what we are going to do, I'm trying to stay out of your way. It's not easy. We're going to pull. Okay. And you can see right there that this is where it was crimped. That is all that keeps it from coming out. So make sure when we're done in the end, we crimp it nice and tight. So let's pull it out. There we go. That's only step one. Now this isn't hard though, okay? 
So you got your cable out of here, the snake I call it. The problem people make, and I'm not, I'm not putting anyone down. I don't know everything. But picture this kind of like a straw, this tracking. If the straw keeps getting clogged and clogged and clogged, you can keep squirting something through it and it'll only relieve it temporarily. This whole track in here, it's like a, straw, a long straw with a slice open in it. It's getting dirt built up for 50 years, possibly 60 years. You can keep lubricating this without pulling it out, but you're still going to have the same outcome. After about 20, 30 turns, boom, it starts locking up again. And then you're going to end up breaking something. So what we're going to do, we'll move this out temporarily. Okay. We're going to clean this out really, really good. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. But make sure you don't lose your little rubber cap here that goes on. I talked about that in the video when we were taking it apart. Use your favorite cleaner. Uh, truthfully, let me get it down in here real good. You can use some acetone or something too. Just don't get acetone on your plastic parts, you know, or some thinner. I'm going to take a brass brush. I get these from the dollar store. And I'm going to get inside of there and I'm going to clean that all up. Because trust me, all the oil over the years, and I'll bring you in close and show you it in a minute. It ain't going to take me long to do this. All that grease and buildup over the years and oil, it just starts caking up in here. Now you're going to have to redo it once we get it together, but we, I can see it in there. So you want to clean this out really, really good. This thing, you want it to move like new. That's the objective with it. Uh, yeah. A totally awesome works good too. It's really acidic based. At least that's what I refer to it as. I'm not a chemist. You're going to be surprised at how smooth your windows roll up and down. They probably didn't do it that good from the factory. Okay. Let me wipe this down a second. Come on. It's stuck on there. Every little thing you do to help these little guys and girls along, they will operate so much better. They really, really will. I'm going to take a soft brush now here and get in there. Yeah, I can see how shiny it is now. That's absolutely what it needed. And also, don't forget to spray some lubricant down inside where the window winds up and down. That will definitely help. I'm not going to take that apart because I've never done that before and I don't feel there's a need to because it's actually turning very smooth. But I would spray some lubricant down inside of it. Okay, give me one second here. Now what I am going to do, this is just simple green here. Don't use chemical or anything on this. It has felt or whatever it is in there. And I'm not using a brass brush on this. I'm just going to go ahead. This is almost like a toothbrush. Just to clean the excess off. Any gunk that's built up on it, you know, you just want to get that. Let me fill this with some juju again. I'm shooting it right down the track. Can't hurt to get it too clean with some nice fresh grease. It'll make a huge difference, trust me. Put that in there.
Now don't bend this. Okay, give me one second. Just want to hose this one more time. This is simple green. Oh. It's nice and bumpy. It works. I apologize if you hear anything, they're asphalting our street. Yeah, big trucks. They're being noisy out there. But they're getting it done. Nice new freshly paved road. Although I'd rather live in an old dirt road somewhere, but that's just me. I'm trying to make that happen as we speak. Okay. Now, what I do want to do here, let me get this out of my way. I want to take my rag, curl it up, and get it down inside the track. Okay. You know what I'm talking about there. And just run it. Run it around there. Get everything out of there, just like it was just built. There's a ton on there still. So you're going to clean these out inside. Turn this here. Let me bring you in close. Okay. You're going to, you know, just take your rag and bunch it up until you fill this tube. And once you do, get it down in there. No, this is not Heather's tower rag or nothing for anybody says anything. And you're going to sweep it back and forth. Okay until you get all the heavy stuff out of there and it will make a difference okay so you know to do that clean that tracking out dry it real good get it nice and shiny like new again let me move this out of the way now i did blow this off but since it's like a i keep saying felt but the brain's not working i'm just trying to pull some moisture out of it what i like to do but i won't sit here and film and do it all day is i curl it around there and squeeze it and the paper towel absorbs the moisture right out of it so that's what you want to do to get that all cleaned up okay i'm not going to go through a whole thing of cleaning it spotless on film or you're going to get bored real quick so Let's go ahead now, what I do next, oops, that came off. Don't forget to put them back on, them pieces matter. That's what guides it. All right. You know what I'm gonna do? To make things easier, we're gonna put our handle on. Oh, I thought I had a Phillips here, I must not have. I'll use a tiny straight that'll fit in there. This keeps the handle from falling off while we're doing it. Okay. Now, what we are going to do. Now, you can use what you want to. I have some Molly Graphite type grease here. I believe that's what it is. It's a multi-purpose grease. I want to fill the tube a little bit up first. Not a ton, but a little bit. So this is kind of where it gets messy a little bit. I kind of push it down in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to speed the film up. And all I'm doing is pushing grease down into the track. So hang tight. I'll put some cool music on. Okay, so I push some grease around here, and what I'm going to do is when I'm putting in, some people like to use oil, some use grease, use what you want, I'm not here to debate about that. <coughs> when I put this on, 
I'm going to smear some grease on this as I push it in. So let me get set up. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is put some grease on the cable and be generous with it. You don't have to be afraid. A lot of people will tell you, no, only use oil. Oh my goodness. Add zinc. Da 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 da. I, I've never had an issue doing it the way I do it. So put on it what you see fit. How about if we say it that way? You're going to start inserting this into here. Whoa. Drop the other end off the table. Woo, getting out of control here. Okay. It's grabbing the edge there. I'm going to, I'm going to put a little more grease down in there because it'll grab it along the way. I hope that makes sense. It should. Ooh. See the grease pushing up and out? Smear it right back in. Just like that. You know what? I gotta check the camera to make sure you're in view. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm trying to keep it like a view that you would be doing this. You know, where you're the one in charge, technically. I always push some down in. Push the cat. Whoa, this baby's moving smooth. Smooth as silk. I always push some more in, and I'm sure somebody's going to say in the comments, do it this way. And that's fine. There's a million different ways to do things, but I watched Joel do this once a while back, and I found this to be the best way. And you don't have to mess with it for a long time. Oh, what are you hanging up on? Oh, trying to go around the bend. <coughs> I'm slipping on it. I can't hold it. Let me wipe my hand off. And we have grease popping out here. This is dry up around the bend. I didn't get it good enough. There we go. It had to make it around this bend. I had it too dry there. That was my fault. Okay, let me put a little more. I always like pushing it down in. It's like you're packing a wheel bearing, kind of. Okay. Ooh, nice and smooth. Okay, I'm going to bring you up and show you something here, of course. Once you get to this part, make sure, I'm trying to get it centered in front of the camera. Wait a second. Once you get to this part, make sure these plastic pieces go on here. See the slots here and there? They got to go on this track. So make sure when you start pushing that cable, you're pushing them on. Well, this is like being a little acrobat here behind the camera. Push them on the track. I got to get up to the handle now. You're going to turn your handle. Okay, we're not far enough yet. We got to get the cable up in there. So it, oh, little clip came off. Ah. If your clip comes off, slide this back out. And which way are we going here? Just like this. You're not going to be able to see that right now. And hold your clip. There we go. So hold down on this. Push it up. I'm all over the place. Until it hits the handle. You'll feel it stop. When you're pushing up, you will feel it stop where it hits the handle gear. See if it got started. Not yet. Almost. You got to push it to the point where it's this cable gets started in the gear. As soon as it does like that, you'll see this winding up. Real smooth too. Woo! I love it. 
it is such a difference the the little things that you do and run it up and down a couple of times just be careful that this don't pop off and don't go past this point yet but it is smooth as silk yes okay all right let's button this part up here give me one second we got to crimp it and then we got to wipe it but i'll show you that in a second now this is very very important you cannot forget this step some things you can blow off and some things you can't just so you know where we're at here's the end here where we pulled the cable out now i'm going to bring you up close you have to crimp them over if you do not when you wind that down it's just going to keep on going and you don't want that now don't go crazy and break them remember just bend them over just so the cable can't make it out that's all don't break them off you take this one you go like that that should be plenty right what you see there is fine you just want it crimped where the cable can't slide down and out it locks it in place now what we're going to do is go ahead and roll it up and down a little bit so we can get the excess grease out of there though because too much will cause pressure and then it will be a little hard so let's wind it down technically speaking and then you'll see it can't come up it hits that stop where you crimped it so what we're going to do we're going to wind it all the way up this is your window going up and down and then back down it is extremely smooth extremely smooth now when you have a little grease coming out there that's fine just wipe it off sit here and do this for about 10 minutes i'm not going to bore you on film and keep doing it but you're going to keep packing it with grease, winding it up and down until it's extremely smooth. And you will never have to mess with this again. Okay, let's do something else to it. We'll take a second here. I'm going to take the handle off here a moment. And don't forget to put your screw back on it and your bolts so you don't lose stuff. I'm going to try spraying down inside of here. There may be a clip that goes on here somewhere, but I can't find it. And there's no point in me taking this apart because it actually is moving very smooth. But I want to spray PB in so it soaks down in there, which it appears to be. Let me, I mean, use what you want, crawl, whatever, you know. I just have PB Blast in my area, which works quite well. I've never had a problem with it letting me down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Let me put the screw back in. These little things, I'm telling you. Here we go. I mean, this is like too smooth. I mean, you can literally, if you could just... I have just a finger on here. That is how nice it is. I'm telling you, I know it takes a little extra work to do this, but if you're taking this stuff apart, do it the right way. Or in fact, if you have, you know, your regular system is sticking, you know, the way this is set in there, this is facing where it's hard to get to. Because if you think this is the handle facing the outside of the door, you can't just squirt inside of there there's no way but taking it apart taking out you know a couple of hours and doing it the right way you're never going to have to mess with this again now what i am going to do and i won't do it today because i'm going to try to save time you know filming so you folks don't get bored i'm going to take a wire wheel and i'm going to go down inside the door that you can't see I'm going to go ahead and do some rust up here, grind it, sand it clean, and spray Ospho on it. That was the stuff I used in a previous video. And it will seal over the rust so it can't, I guess, keep coming back and so I can paint over it. So I'll do that because it has to sit 24 hours and then the next video will pick up from there. I hope that makes sense. Now for the big stuff. So now that our window is finished and smooth, the regulator, 
I'm happy. I'm content. Now, what we got coming up, uh, we always do our live chat Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to try something different this week. At 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to do a live chat, but I'm going to do a giveaway. Yes, I'm going to do like first through third or first through fifth place. You know what I mean? I'm going to do some stickers. I'm going to do a t-shirt. I don't have my shirt on right now. The built not bought one. Yes, I'm going to do a giveaway with one of those. And I'm going to do a poster like you see here without the frame. I framed that. So we're going to do a giveaway Friday night at nine during the live chat. Heather's going to draw the names. We'll go through and what we'll do is write down who's in the chat. So it'll take a little bit while we're chatting. Heather's going to write the names down of who's participating in the chat. Put them in a bowl and then live. She's going to go ahead and start pulling the names out. And then live, you will see who won. When we do that, I'll go ahead and you can give me your email right in the chat. And that way I can email you. The reason I'm doing it that way is that the last time what happened is we went ahead and did a giveaway. Somebody cloned my profile and went all through the comments and I missed it. I was not in front of my phone and was telling people to call them. Don't, I will not reach out to you that way. Do not call anybody. Do not email anybody. Let me email you and then we're safe that way. So good luck, and I hope everybody shows up. And I will see you Friday evening at 9 p.m. And thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, let's keep making this community grow. Share the channel. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Let's keep growing together.